Okay, so it's after work. Um, and I've <laughs> got to get the rest of these tomatoes in the ground. These are almost my, um, not even my B team. These are like my G team tomatoes. Um, they're small. They're a little bit stunted. Um, but I have to do something with them, right? So I'm going to plant them in the shade. We're just going to do a little experiment of planting tomatoes in the shade. The back side of this wagon arch is in shade most of the day. Um, it gets sun late afternoon, mid late afternoon until sunset. Um, but we'll just see what these already disadvantaged tomatoes do when I provide them more disadvantage. It shouldn't take me five hours to do this. <laughs> But we'll see, I've already been out here like 20, 30 minutes walking around, drinking wine, deciding on things. So, here we go. All right, so let's see what we have here. I have a Super Sweet 100 cherry tomato. Put this on the end, like right, you can't see because of that pot. I know I didn't check for spiders first, I should have put it like right there and then what I'll do is as the tomatoes get taller I'll just attach them to the trellis and this is bone dry I need to water that zinnias are already just oh they're blooming so good this year oh I've got little no see them biting me I don't know if they're sand fleas they're not mosquitoes but they're just these little no see -ums. you can't see them but they're biting the crap out of me First one done. Super Sweet 100 hybrid. Somebody's car alarm is real annoying. Next is a San Marzano. A very tiny one. Look at that. Seed was done January 14th. It's now April. Yeah. Wapsin a pinnacon peach. Very stunted Wapsin a pinnacon. Right here, next to the San Marzano. And I'm only putting about, I don't know, five, four or five inches, six inches at the most in between tomatoes. We're just gonna see what that does. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I mean, at least I didn't throw the tomatoes away. I gave them a chance. The walk the city pinnacon. Oh, super sweet 100. So those are the babies right there. Oh, and I have some more onions I need to plant. These are the red of Florence little bunching onions. Aren't those cute? I need to put those somewhere. This one. Oh, this is a geranium kiss. Hmm, this is one of the dwarfs. Do I plant it in the ground instead of in a pot? I could, I'm gonna doing it right here on the outside since it doesn't need to be staked. Um, I'll put a bamboo stake behind it, but I think I'm just going to put it right here on the corner. Why not? Let's get these things in the ground. Um, I do need a tag. is Cherry Falls. So I have Geranium Kiss and Cherry Falls. They both should be in a pot. I should space those out more. I thought I had more that I needed to plant. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's all an experiment. I'm gonna do this over here. On the other side. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So I'm thinking one thing that could happen is with these tomatoes, especially the cherry tomatoes and the dwarf tomatoes being in the shade, like in the heat of summer, maybe they won't shut down. Maybe they'll keep producing because they're gonna get late afternoon sun instead of early morning sun. They're not gonna get as much sun is my point. They are gonna get the hottest sun. We'll see. Anyway, it's all an experiment. So the tomatoes are done. 
I have some lemon drop peppers. I might as well get those in the ground, right? They don't need to be in these cell trays. I'll just spray them down with some Captain Jack so the little critters and cutworms don't get them. Those ding dang cutworms. Let's do that. I'm almost done with my seed trays. If you thought I'd get all this done before Easter, you lost. <laughs> okay, let's go over there. Okay, so I have my organic cayenne pepper here. Got a little baby cayenne, cuteness. I've got my diamond eggplant, got my Rosa Bianca eggplant. So I'm gonna start behind the Rosa Bianca with a lemon drop. So from what I can gather, these are like a yellow jalapeno, I think. Maybe a little bit hotter. So seedlings all right. Nice. Uh, I planted the seed the 15th of February. Um, and then potted them up into these cells on the 9th of March. more red onions I could sprinkle them around elsewhere in the garden but I'm gonna tell you what it's hot and sweaty I'm literally uncomfortable having my hair down and touching me um, <laughs> just feels ew. Um, I do have a few more tomatoes to plant but I gotta wrap this up and just sit and drink my wine while I sweat but my hair <laughs> um, okay so let me let me do some things. Man, analysis paralysis. I know, it's so sweaty. That wagon arch where I planted all that stuff in the shade, I had a lot more room, like more room than I thought I had. Let's take these two over here, these big tomatoes. Or, well, Berry's Crazy Cherry is a cherry tomato, but this one and the Dr. Witchies, let's put it back over here in the shade. So let's go back over here so smart sometimes or not I don't know <sighs> okay yeah right here look at that berry's crazy cherry it's growing in like an inch of soil <laughs> it's crazy all right here's some dr. witchies up there until I can make a sign. Okay, and then here, very spray to cherry. It's perfect. It's perfect. getting sweaty after work okay so I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and drink my wine and enjoy the space knowing that the end is nigh the end is nigh I'm so excited oh and my spinaches and my artichokes okay so the next three days today and two more days and my pasilla bajillos anyway we're almost there Maybe this will be an everyday this week and by Saturday. I'm not gonna make any promises. Okay. All right, so I will, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.